In this video, we're going to be showing you how to map a track or plot a track that has missing calls, that is, missing bearing and distances, and we'll be using Muncie's Platpronto to do that. First thing we need to do is enter a survey. We go up to Survey, we go into the Track section and click on the Track button, and it opens simple one-track survey edit window, and we'll give it a, at the top, it asks for a track name, we'll give it name of track 1. On the area we're going to consider it as 4.1 acres because that's what the deed says it is. However, this particular description has, uh, for the sake of this discussion, we'll say it has no calls whatsoever. The only thing it refers to is the adjacent property owners saying this line, that line, that line, and that line. And it has four lines to it. So. It starts off with one unknown bearing, unknown distance, one call. If we hit enter each time, it'll enter a new call. To enter three more times, you'll get four calls. Now, this is, oddly enough, all you would need to do is to plot a track that has four sides and is 4.1 acres in size. And that's all we know. That there, there's other additional information about the adjacent property owners, but from, from a plotting standpoint, this is all the information we have. You would click on OK, and it'll give you some warning about missing data. And what you see now is what you'll see in Platpronto for anything uh, that you would plot that has missing information. It'll always say in the middle of the tract, unknown shape and acreage. We'll zoom in so you can see that more easily. It says unknown shape slash acreage. That is to protect you because in fact Platpronto is is simply guessing at the shape of the lot for the purposes of of providing a sketch not so that you can file it in the courthouse this is not for that purpose this is for research purposes only uh, where you're try to, trying to gather evidence about the boundary of a particular track um, so uh, let's go back to let's change the scale to hundred foot to an inch and leave it at that but uh, we can if if you happen to want to see what the size would be if you're trying to map out just the extent of a lot on the ground just how far might it extend you can go to the um, uh, to the settings window and there is a checkbox under general called calculated values if you click on that it will give you a warning about the legality of, of showing values that Plat Pronto calculates when the miss when the error the miss the when the information itself is missing because for all practical purposes it's guessing this is not uh, not something that you generally want to display to your friends and neighbors this is something that uh, that you're not going to use in any legal capacity this is simply for research purposes that it that you might want to see this information. Other than that, there's not, no other purpose for it. It's a sketch. And, and it's very useful in trying to identify where a track might be because you can actually draw on this. There are other tools in Platpronto where you can actually add text identifying adjacent property owners. So this assists you in mapping out property. Click on OK and it'll actually show you uh, what it calculated for the bearings and distances. And if we zoom in here on a window to the, one of the, the lines, you'll see it says due east 422.61 feet. And that may be useful to you. Uh, for all practical purposes, we don't need to see that. Um, this is it's useful information if maybe one call is missing and it's filling in that in, it, it may be uh, that what you're measuring on the ground matches that and so you have some kind of evidence that that boundary matches. Other than that, in most cases when you're missing that much information, the, the usefulness of it disappears. So if we go back to settings, let's turn off calculated values. And, and this is what you would see whenever you plot it. It'll scale it to fit the screen and, and that'll be the end of that. Um, 
So, let's turn it back to 100 feet to an inch. Okay, now, um, let's just say that we have more calls than four, so we go back to, we, if we double click on the track, you'll bring this edit screen back up. Let's add two additional calls by hitting enter twice. Let's go to the second call and let's put in uh, north 45, 100 feet. Um, click on OK and see what happens. It gives the same typical warning. Now what you see now, if you'll click out outside the track, you'll see that all the lines are marked with unknown bearing, unknown distance, except for the one call that's in black. And it matches what we typed in, north 45 degrees, east 100 feet. And if you go to show calculated values again, you'll see that it's 4.1 acres. So it matched the acreage, but also gave you the information that you entered. You'll double click on that, open it back up. Let's change another call and let's go. Let's just say all we know is the direction of one of the lines. We know it's south uh, 30 degrees east. And we click on OK. Same warning. Now, because we have show calculated values, it's going to show you the values that were calculated. And you'll see that one call that was south 30 degrees east is filled in if you zoom into that area. And the direction and distance are shown here, but if we go back to settings and we turn calculated values off, it'll say unknown distance. This is the way you should be uh, displaying or plotting your surveys, with the black text showing that that was pulled from the deed and the red text indicating that it does not know what that is. Now, um, we'll zoom to fit the page. And um, we can do this for any number of calls, any pieces of information that may be missing from, from a description all the way up to a complete boundary description. And this becomes extremely useful for purposes of mapping out tracks that, uh, uh, from ancient surveys in which much of the data was missing and, and all we have is the names of the adjacent property owners. Uh, so that's all there is to mapping out missing information in Plat Pronto. In fact, there are very few surveys that it won't plot, irregardless as to how much information may be missing. It will give you some kind of a sketch if it can't plot it exactly. But in every case, it will tell you that, it, that the bearing and distance are unknown and the shape is unknown because it has missing information. Um, if you have any more questions about this, uh, please call us or send us an email. Thank you.